Oh, we got a party right here. These poor souls. And some chaotic... Oh, no, just normal polymorphine. I was trying something new in this video where I cut it down a little less so I can show my thought process and how I fix wands and how I place spells to make them work on a wand better. So if, uh, if it's better for you, definitely let me know. Or if uh, it's just not as enjoyable, also let me know and I'll, I'll see if I can uh, find a good way to compromise with uh, everyone's feedback. But anyway, enjoy! Today we're going to be talking about these wands right here, and these wands have chain bolt on them, and that's the main thing we're going to be talking about today. So let's get into it and uh, figure out how chain bolt works. So what we have going on right here is a double cast wand with uh, stats and everything from a run that I have going on, and. I wanted to figure out how to make it work with Chain Bolt, because Chain Bolt doesn't use modifiers if you have it set up properly, and I found a workaround that as long as you chain or you pair Chain Bolt with itself, it doesn't use modifiers. So it'll do something like this. And it'll eat through the wall and all sorts of stuff. And as you can see, we still have 10 matter eaters. But if we set it up improperly, it uses the modifiers. So that first cast was these two, and then the second cast was these two. Since these are paired uh, together, Chain Bolt doesn't give its properties of not using the modifiers. So we set this back up, and then there we go. Fantastic. So another thing is reduced spread only affects the projectile it's connected to. I was under the impression that it fixes the entire wong. That is incorrect and needs to be addressed. And then also um, Alias uh, pointed out that I was being really dumb. I was like, oh, recharge time has unique uh, properties and it, it can fix wands at the end. Mm, yes and no. So how this wand reads right now is all these mana modifiers and these chain are, uh, are affecting these two chainsaws because of the double cast. And that's the spell block for the first one. And then these reduced lifetimes are affecting this long distance cast and this long distance cast is casting uh, this chain bolt and this chain bolt. And then we have the reduced recharge time, which is a projectile modifier. So it wraps around and it grabs the manas and the two chainsaws. So I was moving this around. I was like, oh, why is it not casting quick enough? It's because this is wrapping into the two chainsaws and getting the mana. And so... It's adding the mana and the chainsaws twice to this wand. So that that's something you need to keep in mind as well, that you can have this at the end of the wand to wrap with it. So just, uh, you know, very good information. All right, let's throw on some Light Shot Chaotic. The reason I like Chaotic uh, Transmutation is it makes uh, Chain Bolt into... Actually, wait, that it is being applied to both of them, because if, if this wasn't applied to it, then one of these uh, Chain Bolts would be... Oh, that's so strange. Long Distance Cast is a strange spell. I want to learn more about it, but uh, regardless... This makes a uh, chain bolt into a projectile. So it fires something like this. And it's very, very nice. It, it does have the downside of uh, chaotic transmutation, which it makes anything into a different uh, substance. So it's a little, a little hit or miss, but like, it's fantastic. And as you saw right there, it, it hit the wall and it got destroyed. So a way to fix that is we would take just one of these spreads off and throw a drilling shot on. So this does add recharge time though. 
even though this is a trigger and it removes a cast delay and all that stuff that all this other stuff is adding, it will not fix the recharge time. However, we've fixed recharge time probably tenfold on this on this wand. So it it still fires really quick. And oh actually we we didn't even fix recharge time, see? But that's probably for the better better of the wand because if it runs out of mana it will use the modifiers so let's see if i can do it there we go we had four and now we have three and it, it also used one of the matter eaters so when you're building a chain bolt wand you need to keep in mind if you run out of mana it's going to eat the modifiers so um but yeah everything on this wand is stuff that I have acquired in my run and it is purely possible to build a wand like this. You just need to know what you're working with and what your limitations are. So that's our that's our first wand and it's fantastic. I love it and we're we're going to do so much with these other wands. So let's see. This Second wand is just the same stats and everything like that, except it's a single cast. So the reason I wanted to do that is to show off, hey, you don't need all these, all these to, um, to like make it rapid fire and all that stuff. Actually, I think we can even take off more. There we go. So recharge time is still an issue on this wand, I've noticed, but like this is super quick and everything like that, and it's pretty mana efficient. Like it's not great, and obviously we do risk uh, running out of mana and then casting all our matter eaters, but if we threw some more manas on there and then we threw... Let's say we found uh, two chain bolts. So we want to cast both of these with uh, with this and then let's say we wanted to fix that recharge time to make sure that we fire super quick let's uh let's just throw we'll grab this one and throw it up there so how this wand reads is the increased manas and the reduced recharge time are added to this chainsaw so that's giving all these benefits and the chainsaw's benefits to this wand and then this spell block these to reduce how far this cast into matter eater into double cast or sorry double spell reduce spread chain bolts and that's this entire spell block so it's going to cast chain bolts with the matter eater on them and it's going to cast both of them because it's paired only with itself like chain bolt can only work when it's only using chain bolt in the spell block and then we go into reduce recharge time so it gives the benefits and then it grabs the manas and the reduce recharge time and the chainsaw again so it's just oh fantastic and the this is the wand stats just to confirm like they're they're not awful but they're definitely a little bit uh, of a struggle to work with especially recharge time so and then it casts something like this and there's so many different things we can do since I don't really see it necessary to cast both these chain bolts I'm going to take one off and take off this double spell if I'd left the double spell on it's wrapping into that chainsaw and it's pairing the chain bolt with the chainsaw so it will use the matter eaters. So you you have to you have to keep that in mind. You can't pair this with anything else. It can only be with itself. So for this wand, it has ridiculous stats. You will never find this in an, an actual game, but uh it's just showing off that hey, we can cast all this and have the chain bolt not use any of the uh, the modifiers on it. So if you don't have unlimited spells, you can do something like this. And I bet you're asking, why do you throw explosion on slimy enemies on there? Well, you see, 
it makes it into a nice little pink particle. Let's actually... Let's throw a light shot on there instead of this heavy shot. There we go. It has this nice little pink trail. Let's also take this off for just a second. I love the aesthetics that it adds. It, I'll, I'll show you a comparison when it's off. It's this nice little blue. And then this is 200 mana. So if you want aesthetics, you go water to poison. There you go. Nice little pink trail. And it's uh, quite a bit less. However, it does add Castellate, and you have to take that into consideration as well. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. But <laughs> since this is working like a trigger, we we don't add Castellate. It only adds recharge time. So if we were to throw a Drilling Shot on there, it's going to fire a lot slower. All right. Ooh, let's throw this back up here. And also Lava to Blood. Uh, adds a nice little brown effect to it, like a reddish brown, and then there's a toxic sludge, which uh, adds a, a nice little teal. It's pretty pretty satisfying. I want to go with pink, and we're going to throw a fireball thrower on there, and uh, it'll fire something like this. Fantastic. So let's go on to the swand. There is a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I even have this in the wrong spot. Well, actually, all right, I'll show I'll show that off as well. So we'll separate everything and make it a little bit easier to read. Okay. So on this last wand, same thing, cheaty stats, all that good jazz. We have reduced lifetime being put onto the chainsaw, and then we have the long distance cast, casting all this spell block, which has accelerating shot, increased duration, tentacler, matter eater, drilling shot, uh, chaotic transmutation into chain bolt. And then after this spell block is cast, it casts reduced recharge time, which wraps around and grabs these two benefits again. So for this wand, we actually don't need, let me read over it. We don't need, oh, we do need, we do need the reduced recharge time because of the drilling shot. If we don't have this on here, we don't need these two or this. Let me let me actually do that real quick to make sure that I don't have it incorrect. So with drilling on there, cast something like this. And then if we take drilling off, cast something like that. So the drilling shot is the only reason we have to fix the stats on this perfect wand. Because this is adding the recharge time. So we throw this here. Uh, wait. <laughs> throw this up here. And throw this up here. And as you were seeing, the long distance cast is casting it right here. If we swap this over, it'll cast right in front of us. So I think these three up here aren't even necessary. I think just this one to have this uh, cast right next to you is the only thing necessary. But I like to go overkill. And I think to fix the stats on this wand, we needed three or something along those lines. Uh, it, there, there's a lot of thought process that went into it. But we're, we're just talking about this one for now. And let's make it... Hmm, what do we want this wand to do? Let's let's make it eat through the ground and let's make it just only rely on the tentacler to do damage. So if we threw light shot on there, then that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna cast this. Uh, this is the entire spell block right here. It's going to cast that and it's going to 
uh, pretty much be able to eat through the ground and tentacular stuff. And as you can see, I don't have melee immunity because Tentacler is the best spell ever. Or it's spell modifier. Oh, I love Tentacler. Okay, I'm having issues hitting them. So we want to take Light Shot off and let's replace it with... We'll, we'll just make this a, a short cast wand. So we'll have heavy shot on it. This will actually do a billion damage now, but it won't be able to hit them unless we're point blank with them. Because that's how, how far it goes. It just spawns out of the wand and it's like, I'm going to destroy stuff. Ooh, we got a party right here. These poor souls. And some chaotic... Oh, no, just normal polymorphine. Let's throw a teleport cast on there. Okay. So, I did fix it up a bit. I do... However, I have a question for everyone watching this video, and maybe you can figure it out. Because I've, I've tried figuring it out, and I'm not entirely sure. So there is a bunch of stuff working on this wand right now. I, I've noticed Accelerating Shot does not work sometimes. Because I'll cast it, and it stays right here. Like, that's, that's not accelerating. That's staying the same speed. And then, same speed. Same speed. Same speed. One of these is going to accelerate. Someday. There we go. That one accelerated. That was like one out of six spells that we've cast that accelerated. I'm not entirely sure why. I thought it was because of Heavy Shot. But even if we take off Heavy Shot, it, it still has the same interaction. So if you can figure out what's wrong on this wand, by all means tell me and I'll... I'll definitely give you credit in my next uh, Chain Bolt video because obviously I'm going to make more because I love this spell so freaking much. But for now, what we have going on in this wand is Chainsaw, obviously just to fix up unnecessary stats that we've added because of Drilling Shot and all that other sorts of jazz. And then we have uh, Reduced Lifetime on this to uh, make sure that the cast delay from it isn't too much of a detriment to this wand because the cast delay is being added to this spell block. So, oh, because this is also fixing cast delay. Okay, I I I was like, wait a second, that shouldn't be fixing this completely because it only removes 0.25, but this adds 0.33. This takes away 0.17. <laughs> Math, welcome. <laughs> and then. It, it casts this, which will cast it on our enemies, which will cast everything on this uh, spell, which is an accelerating heavy shot, re increased duration, matter eater, tentacler, chaotic transmutation, drilling shot, water to poison, uh, chain bolt. So, water to poison is just for aesthetic purposes. And, yeah, it's fantastic. Probably not something very practical in a normal run, but it's just to show off the all the neat stuff you can do in this game. Hello, how are you doing today? All right, and let's just go through the temple. Who uses portals anyway? Oh, so let's throw light shot on, because since I don't know why accelerating shot doesn't work properly, we'll just do it with light shot. And we'll take off heavy so we can actually eat through the temple. go. And now we're in the coal pits. Actually, we don't need these on here. So since the stats on this wand, just to reference again, are so good that 
it, it doesn't matter that we have to fix them for the uh, drilling shot. So this will erase stuff, like the temple. Oh, it'll run out of mana though. Why is that? Because it's casting so fast? Wow. 120, 80, 80. Jeez. That's, that's ridiculous. So it has 9,999 max mana and 9,999 mana recharge per second. And it uses mana so quick that it runs out of mana. It wasn't me. They can't catch us. We're making a break for it. Uh, just kidding, we don't run from our problems, we face them head on. Steven! I have, I have presents! Steven, do, 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 do you know, do you know what, what presents are? Uh, surprisingly, very bad. <laughs> I think I've shown off enough tech and enough stuff to get my point across that Chain Bolt is the best spell to mess with. So definitely give it a try. I'm Hopefully I didn't show off too much and you can try it for yourself. Like, like I said, there's so much to this game and... I, I want you to find out neat combinations on your own. As always, have a wonderful evening, noon, and night.